in this video we are basically talking about how we can expedite the whole schematic capturing so there are different platforms which offers uh, uh, their development boards and these development boards are basically open source uh, hardware design hey hello friends and welcome to another video of this series in this video we are going to see how you can master the rapid hardware design concept so in case you are a beginner or who is just starting a career into hardware design engineering or you are doing this as a hobby or maybe you are doing this as a for a, a side hustle project so in this video we are going to see basically how you can expedite the learning curve so let's say you have got a requirement of a hardware right so the moment you have a hardware requirement based on that you have to select the components you have to go through the data sheet of those components and you have to go through the typical application circuit now you will be bringing all these components together to do the schematic capturing and once you are done with the schematic capturing you will eventually convert that uh, uh, schematic to the pcb design now in all this process right there is a lot of uh, learning that you need to have so basically your key concepts needs to be cleared yeah, and uh, when it comes to designing pcb it's more like uh, once you e execute projects right you build up more confidence so in this video the whole goal is basically how we are able to cut down that or we can expedite that whole process so the best way is to go by examples go by the open source hardware design so in this video i'll be showing you how you can basically go over the internet search for uh, uh, the open source hardware design refer the key concepts from there and in the upcoming videos also we are going to see the key concepts of the uh, application of the basic uh, circuitry in place so before we start i would like to thank uh, the sponsor of this video which is ultium Altium is one of the best PCB designing software available and uh, if you see right uh, currently you have Altium free trials running where uh, if in case you are a professional or a student or you are a startup you can go and get the full access of the Altium and in case you are a student you need uh, university email ID coming to Altium student lab so this is the new initiative started by Altium where you can come and get access of all the curriculums on the PCB design side ECAD fundamentals and the best part of it you will be getting a certificate also and you can connect to the community where you have uh, job opportunities at Altium and also you can be an Altium designer where you can explore jobs on their community portal. So in the last video we talked about the hardware development cycle we went through each of these blocks to understand key what goes behind them and uh, in this video we are basically talking about how we can expedite the whole schematic capturing. So there are different platforms which offers uh, uh, their development boards and these development boards are basically open source uh, hardware design so if we talk about the major i can say the top uh, companies so these are the spark fun electronics adafruit waveshare microe seed studio and then you will be having uh, git repositories so these are uh, either being done by the private uh, hobbyist uh, or it it is a com community driven sort of an effort okay so let's start with uh, these uh, uh, companies and see what all they have in place as open source hardware so to start with let's first uh, go to browser and let's search spark fun so we are here at spark fun and uh, if you see right uh, you have all these uh, red color boards so these all uh, red color boards are proprietary uh, spark fun hardware and uh, let's say this is something on rp2350 so this is again from uh, raspberry pi chipset okay so it's from the raspberry pi rm2 okay and if you see here right you have the data sheet over here for this chip and then you have the basic hookup guide how you can how the interfaces and other things are there in place and if you click on schematic you will be able to see the full schematic uh, and how the implementation has been if you talk about the usb so this is how the usb part is and it gives you a little bit of detail in terms of how the thickness of the copper is what is the board thickness trace width and uh, we'll be going through each of these concepts so here if you see we have a tbs diode to have the data bus protected and then uh, vbus which which is basically the 5 volt you have a fuse as a safety fuse over here okay and uh, then there is external power input 
you have a lipo battery input and uh, th this is where the main mcu is okay so if you see in the, when when we go through different schematic right you'll be finding few of the common uh, i can say whenever the mcus are there right on the power line you'll be seeing this bypass capacitors or the decoupling capacitors so in the upcoming videos we'll be going through why and what value to be used okay then you will have crystals so these are the external 12 megahertz crystal then uh, these are again on the supply side you have all this bulk capacitors as well as uh, uh, the bypass capacitors now you have a spi flash over here we'll be going through this in details okay so this is the whole idea is uh, if you go through this uh, you will be able to understand ki how the application has been done here if you see we have a sd card over here now in case you want to have some sort of a led for your status or on the power line so now let's go back okay and let's say we have to design something on esp32 so let's search esp32 great so we have uh, these many esp32 boards and in the upcoming video right i'm going to use esp32 c6 okay for our project so let's see this and if i click on schematic so here we go so here we have the esp32 c6 and uh, we have the sorry so we have the battery fuel gauge and also we have the LDO over here that basically converts the incoming uh, 5 volts. It can be from the battery which is like 4.2 lithium ion battery or from the USB and giving the 3.3 to the MCU. Okay. Now there are different concepts if you see here right. Uh, so here you have this uh, MOSFET. Okay. So basically whenever the USB is available. Okay. So or, or both are available right. It makes sure the only path that is there for the power is this. And these diode is basically D3, which you see is for the reverse current uh, protection. So we'll be going through the concepts of diode in the upcoming uh, videos where we'll, we'll take each of these elements and we'll discuss in detail. So if in case you are designing something on ESP32, you can come refer and see the basic schematic and uh, you can pull that uh, uh, or basically adapt that whole schematic for your design. Now, one thing if you see here, right, see, so here you have 100K and you don't have uh, let me zoom in more so you have a 100 k over here right r8 but you don't have that rating or the power rating for this uh, resistor similarly when it comes to this capacitor right of uh, the 2.2 microfarad so this decoupling capacitor doesn't have a voltage rating and in terms of what is the part number or the size those are not available okay so sometimes in this schematic you might not be having uh, the actual part number maybe for the ICs you will be having the part number this is M max max 17048 okay so this is what uh, you will be able to come and refer to now let's search add a fruit okay So this is again uh, Adafruit uh, ESP32C6. So this is similar to what uh, Think Plus ESP32 we have. Okay, so this one. Okay, so Think Plus ESP32C6. Similarly, you have something that comes from Adafruit. So you can come over here and uh, basically, okay, click on technical details. Then you can click on the primary guide. And if you come here at downloads, right, if you click over here, you'll be able to see, okay, so you'll be able to see the data sheet, even you have the PCV file on the GitHub, which is a EagleCAD file. And uh, then you have the schematic over here. Let's click that schematic. I want to see the original. So here you see, right, here you have uh, the same ESP32C6. So basically you can come and compare and basically question things around key why those pin configurations are like that and in case you want to see things in detail you have to refer to the data sheet so if you see here right there is a there is a thing so you have this decoupling capacitor or i can say basically for debouncing right so you have a switch okay and then uh, this is the reset and then you have a boot which is which would have been pulled up so we'll be seeing all the concepts on the resistor how to have a pull up pull down so 
the whole idea was in this video to tell you ki you can basically go to these websites websites like adafruit let's see another one okay so this we are going to see let's say microe now we are going to use uh, basically gsm modem so i'm going to use something from quectel so let's say this as a board right so if you click over here so currently this is not available for order i'm not sure whether this has been obsolete but if you come down uh, yeah so if you see here you have the schematic okay so you can click over here here you go so you have uh, this quectel ug95 and if you see how the typical application uh, circuit for that hardware looks like here also the only challenge that comes right you don't have that part number but whenever let's say this uh, uh, micro sim card right so if you go through the data sheet or the reference uh, design or the design guidelines of quectel you will be finding a similar sort of a uh, ref uh, i can say the sample reference okay so things are something which you can easily adapt here if you see you have the ldo over here you have a ferrite bead so in some circuit you won't be able to see ferrite bead so these basically uh, the emi emc filters the tvs diodes and other things in place so these are basically based on your hardware you have to put what sort of a protection you are using what sort of a signal integrity you want your hardware to support in so these are uh, uh, the things uh, where i think it's good if you can basically uh, do your bomb selection so let's say in our in our upcoming uh, videos we are going to use esp32 c6 uh, we are going to use some quetel it might be ec200u then we want to put uh, sd card okay you want to put a uh, usb also okay so these all open source uh, hardware designs basically helps the reason being ki look this hardware has already been in mass production okay so there has been uh, thousands of these running okay so you can be very sure whatever this hardware is there right that will work but the only challenge when it comes right you might be not be knowing what all these parts are so this is where i i would be helping you to understand how you will be able to uh, come up with this part selections how the rating comes so let's say you have this uh, uh you have this 100k over here right so how to choose this part you have this mbr 540 okay short key diode so how to choose this like what all rating you have to take care based on the voltage and other things in place same goes for in case uh, let's talk about something uh, okay so here you have this uh, lipo charging right so based on the battery charging current right so you can change this resistor value which is r1 and the current rating changes okay so we'll be talking everything in detail in the upcoming videos and the whole idea or uh, the whole thing which i wanted to tell you in this video was basically you can expedite you can refer it's it's basically a, a sort of a cheat code where uh, you go and learn things looking at what has already been done and incorporate those concepts in your design so in the upcoming video let me show you like what all based on this schematic we are going to learn just hold on let me okay okay so uh, in the upcoming videos we are going to see the concepts like decoupling filter energy storage voltage clamping time and frequency control in case of capacitors and in resistors we'll be seeing current limiting how to use voltage divider pull up pull down power dissipation sensing and measurement when it comes to diode as we saw right uh, we'll be seeing over voltage protection voltage regulation current direction control which we saw in the usb part reverse polarity protection switching and rectification in the transistors we'll be going through npn pnp and uh, we'll be talking about how the switching concepts power regulation current regulation signal modulation might not be a part of this uh, uh, series but uh, we'll just try to touch up on few of the concepts so this is what uh, in the upcoming videos we are going to cover the common electronic components and the hardware design application so stay tuned for the next uh, uh, video and uh, i'll be very happy to help you out so if in case you have any questions or any queries you can comment things 
uh, in the comment section and if in case you have liked this video please do like share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you